in this video I'm looking at the Kill Team Starter Set. Hello AOS fans and today I'm talking about the Kill Team Starter Set. Yes, now this is not Kill Team Arctarius box which came out a, uh, a little while later, you know, it says looking the wrong way. There it is, it's not that, um, this is a cut down version of that. Um, and it's not the Kill Team Chown Earth box set which we had I think just before Christmas which I haven't even seen that but we, it, is a, um, it is a new starter set by beginners of the game of Kill Team. Now if you're not a beginner you're probably not going to buy this, you've probably already got that but you might want to buy it because I've had a quick look at the prices. This is going to retail at £65 uh, UK which is not bad for a starter set, pretty good for everything you get in there. The Warbands you buy separately, or the Fire Teams you buy separately, or even the Kill Teams you buy separately, uh, the Krieg and the Oryx, uh, or Orcs, um, they are going to be, I think, £32.50, £34.50, something like that each, RRP. You can get them cheaper from resellers. Talking of resellers, check out Will and Games. I'll put a link in the description below. They're really good um, for really good resellers, really uh, great customer service, and they have extra discounts on pre-order day, so check, that out, check them out. Um, anyway, so that's so you're looking at about seventy quid, getting on towards um, for uh, the RRP for the two for the two boxes uh, of the two, for the two kill teams, and this box has them both in and extra bits and pieces. So this almost certainly is always going to be a better deal on on what you're buying. So this video is going to be kind of aimed at parents. Maybe they your, your kids have been into a uh, games workshop and they've seen this Kill Team game or they've seen 140,000 and they want to get into it. And I want to talk about what, what this represents and what you're buying into and, and what you're going to end up with um, and what you might, where it might go uh, if you do take the leap into Kill Team. Kill Team is a skirmish game, uh, which means it is, may, uses uh, small amounts of models sort of maybe uh, eight to ten models um, on a uh, fairly small board. That I, I can't remember the exact dimensions of the board. It's probably telling me on the back here. It's 30 inches by 22 inches on the board, and then you have terrain on it. But it, it gives, a, gives a much more compact uh, game. If you're playing the bigger Warhammer games, they can almost take up to, to or six, foot, six foot by four foot, a little bit smaller, maybe four foot by four foot. But um, you're gonna, you get a more compact game here, which makes it appealing for beginners. Less uh, models, less scenery tends to mean less angst and more importantly, less money, less money to buy in anyway. Um, and so this set is pretty good. So what do you get in the box? You get uh, you get a, a Kill Team Recruit rule book, uh, a 96 page rule book, um, a Kill Team token sheet, 12 six sided dice, three combat gauges, transfer sheets of Death Coral Creek and the Orc Commando, so that's when you're painting them. Um, you get uh, the kill map for playing on, so you get little terrain maps. It's quite thin paper, but you get, you get a terrain map for playing on, some barricades and some, and some piles of ter scrap terrain. And, and you get 22 Citadel miniatures, you get 10 veteran guardsmen and 10 uh, commandos. Let's have a little look in the box and we'll talk about the components as we go. Before we get going, I'll just show you this. Look, I don't know if you can see that. My box, how close is it? My box had a hole in it. Uh, which amusingly had a little gun sticking out, which was quite funny, um, if you're a pure hard mind. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it had my box turned up like this from GW, their customer service is brilliant, they just sort, set, sorted out, sending me a new one. Uh, but that's the first time I've ever seen that, where some of the plastic is actually pinged through um, the, um, the the box. I've never, I've never had that before, in all my, all my years of getting massive boxes full of plastic. Um, so let's quickly open this, talk amongst yourselves. So unlike some GW games, it opens that way, and it pulls out, and it pulls out like a drawer. Uh, which we have here and on top of it we get loads and loads of plastic. Now I um, will put a little link up for a video of how I've done for painting um, the uh, Death Coral Creek. It was a really simple paint guide for that so I'll put that up for you to look at. Uh, but in here basically you get uh, the, the models I said, you get uh, lovely sprues of um, 10, 10 orcs and 10 uh, Creed to paint. Um, and they're, you know, they're brilliant, brilliant models. I will say for beginners they're not the easiest to put together. Uh, games Workshop do sometimes do these things called, I think they're called easy fit or uh, push fit models, which are they don't need glue and they're much easier, in theory at least, to put together uh, than these. And these are, I, I would say these are hard. I'm not very good at putting together models. So I always refer to myself as the lowest common de denominator for model assembly. And these are tough. I had to get Pete to do it. Um, so bear that in mind if you've got younger children in particular. Um, do set aside some time to help them put them together and they will need polystyrene cement so you will need some screw, sprue, cri sprue clippers you will need some sprue clippers to clip that and you will need some polystyrene cement to um, 
to, to stick them together. So um, there's various types you buy. I'll perhaps put a link in, in, in the description of, of other option, of options for buying that. And there's the, your measuring uh, rulers here and uh, more, more, more models. So you get an awful lot of plastic. And you just get one sprue of uh, scattered terrain. So you just get some barriers on there and you get screw some orc, orc refuse piles. So that's that. You get another, not another, here you also get a card which is meant to protect lots of the soft books and everything underneath, which again is a good job because it had another hole in it. So I've never seen it before. This, this has a hole in it too, and it was different because it was in the box in a different place to the hole that was in the lid. So it's a different hole made by, uh, by the models that are in the box. So again, I've never seen that before. Uh, I don't suppose GW would replace your entire set if you just had that hole in that kind of a particular layer. It's kind of, kind of doing its job if it's doing that. But if you had a hole in the box, I think they probably would. So what do you get in the box? I have had a little look and a bit of a route around. So it did come in more cellophane than it's going to be. You get some dice. Um, all, all games, workshop games are pretty much driven by D6s. So you get uh, more, more orange D6s. I've got so many D6s. Uh, and then you get the bases to stick the models onto. And what else have we got? We've got a set of tokens that you'll need to play the game. And uh, you're all, we also have a set of instructions for assembling all the beautiful models that you've got inside. They are, um, they, they've got various poses and things you're going to have to choose, which which, which I choose, but all, all have to do it. The instructions are actually pretty good, just the models themselves are pretty fiddly. Um, and there's a set of transfers that I talked about, there's one each of those. One for each of those, I think, underneath the, here's the other one. Yes, one for the orcs there. And then, we also get a, I'm not going to get it out, but you also get a play mat to play on. It's quite thin. Um, you might want to look at alternatives if you're going to uh, play this game for any length of time. But actually for beginning, this is brilliant. This is one of the best innovations I think GW pretty much have done in their time. Uh, since I used to play, you immediately get something you can unfold on the kitchen table and play the game, especially with the plastic uh, terrain. You can just clip that out and bang, you've got, you've got a battlefield. More on that later. And then finally... The raison d'etre, if you like, uh, of everything is the uh, the rules, the recruit edition rules, and the core rules. Um, so the core rules are a copy of everything that was in the Kill Team Octarius box, just in miniature form. And I actually like them this way. It's a little bit harder to read for those of us of advancing years, um, because the text is quite small. Um, uh, but you, everything you need is in there, and you don't, so you don't need the great big rule book. And actually, it's quite nice. I don't know if it makes it easy to flick through, possibly not, but uh, everything is in there. So that is the core rules. And you may be, if you're a, a young, sort of got a young person interested in this, or you're just starting out in the hobby, you may blanch at the thickness of that. Not, they're not small. But this is excellent. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Um, it's the Recruit Edition rules. And uh, as well as having a fantastic picture on the front, um, it takes you through, step by step, how to play kill team so we start off and uh it has a little description of what what gaming is and what collecting is so let's, let's start from the beginning so having a look we've got an introduction um it starts to tell you about what uh what kill team is uh, it tells you a little about the hobby so it talks about the collecting the hobby which is a big side of it um, for those of you who are, are new to the hobby you tend to i think they're always oh, so there are kind of three sides kind of triangle people interested in different sides to the triangle it's skewed different ways depending on who you are. So you've got the playing of the game, you've got the collecting of the hobby, the hobby, so the collecting and the painting of the hobby, and then you've got the law, which I've got all the stories behind it. I'm very much more into the painting and the uh, and the playing, and I'm less interested in the law. But other people are completely different. Um, so we've got a little bit about the collecting, and then about the gaming, and then it goes on to talk about what's in the box so you've got a little uh, little bit of bag and that is the law it talks about the orc commandos so law is just the stories uh the death core of krieg how they fit into the world and what they what their what their reason for being is and then it starts to tell you about what's in the box and, and what you use so it tell, starts to then tell you how the basic mechanics of the game work and then i'm going to flip to the back of the book at the back of the book uh so the last because this book is a manageable sort of 50 60 pages um, but at the back of the book you've got all the stats for all the people that you get in the box so you've got all the data cards and these data cards drive everything for kill team every whatever you're playing because you can play I should say you can play with other armies you can play kill team with other armies and they all have these data cards that, that drive them but these are the ones you get in this box and they're all there so there's there's one for each each of the models you can build it has its own data card and going back 
So after that, so it talks about the data cards in the Tours of War section. It then gives you some missions, and these missions will teach you the game. So the first mission is called Mobile Engagement, and it goes through, um, tells you how to lay out the, tells you how to lay out your um, battlefield. So this is the playmat, and this is the um, terrain that's included in the box. And you lay that out, it tells you where both people start, and the mission is to. Um, so it's welcome to your first Warhammer 40k mission. This mission will show you how to move your models around the battlefield and shoot with your ranged weapons. A supply colony has been neutralised by an airstrike in a nearby grid sector. Your kill team has been ordered to advance on the site and secure what remains, but an enemy kill team is ahead of you with orders to do the same. You must engage at once to neutralise the enemy, all the while ensuring you are the first to reach the supply convoy. So you've got a nice little narrative feel there of what it is we're trying to do, why we're here, why we're having this battle, which is kind of kill team is all about uh, trying to make the stories of, 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 of what you're doing and, and, and why you're doing it. Um, it's not just, I mean, people do play it competitively, but it's not just like a competitive free-for-all, can, can my army destroy yours? It's kind of like about telling a story together to uh, talk about how the um, plucky humans defended the fuel supply drop from the from the orcs, that kind of thing, which is really nice. Um, so then it tells you uh, how to set up the mission. It tells you the objective. Both kill teams are attempting to arrive at the supply convoy first, as well as stalling the enemy's advance. The winner of this mission is the player who inca incapacitates one or more enemy operatives with a shooting attack, as well as being the first player to move a friendly operative off the edge of the kill zone labelled supply convoy. So at the bottom here, it says supply convoy. So you both start at this end and you've got to basically run that way and shoot somebody and get off the end. That, 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 that is the aim of the game. The next bit then teaches you how to move your models, how to... Um, how to shoot because that's really important. Shooting is really important, and basically it tells you how to, you know, how to a or how you resolve successful shots, and it goes all through that. So by the, by the time you've finished um, mission one, it tells you what you do when you, you know, each turn and how, how all the turns unfold. When you finished that, and one of you was one, it tells it says congratulations, you or your opponent have just completed your first mission, have learned how to move across the battlefield and shoot enemy operatives. You can either replay this mission, perhaps swapping sides to try different operatives. Or to try different operatives. If you're comfortable with everything you have learned so far, mission two awaits. Movement and shooting won't be explained in this level of detail again, so turn back to this mission if you need a reminder. And I think it's probably key. The, the, the missions build on each other. Kill Team is quite a complex game. It's simple. The basics are simple, but the more you play, the more you add, the more complicated it gets. And I think it's probably a good idea to uh, to play a couple of these a, a few times to see just to make sure you understand it before you move on. I should have said at the beginning, it also tells you what models you're going to use, so you won't use all of the models uh, for each of the uh, scenarios. So this one uses three uh, trooper veterans and one gunner veteran for the Krieg models, for the, the veteran guardsman models, and the commanders use two commando boys and one commando decker boy, so you're getting to see, see what happens there. You can replay the missions and use the different, um, the different cards if you want to, to see, to see how it works. These are the ones they suggest for learning learning first you know, first time through. So after you've done the mobile engagement, you can then go on to mission two, which is take cover. And this teaches probably what is the most complicated part of Kill Team. Well, not most complicated part is the wrong word, but the least intuitive piece of, uh, about Kill Team, which still makes me scratch my head, and that is uh, learning how the cover rules work. So, And so they've got, they've got all this cover on the board, and your men are hiding behind it, and shooting over it, and peeking around it, and that makes them harder to hit, or sometimes impossible to hit, and they can hide behind it, all that kind of stuff. And it, it explains all of that in here. And again, it's exactly the same format. So it's got a map, tells you where to set up the terrain, tells you what the uh, objective is. Both kill teams have converged on the destroyed supply convoy and seek to drive off the enemy so they can secure it. The winner of the mission is the player who has the has operatives remaining in the kill zone. So basically, you're just going to be shooting each other, but you're going to be hiding behind stuff to try and um, you know try and stop you from being shot. Um, and and that so that explains. All of it. So by the time you've finished this one, you want to understand how all the cover rules work. And then there's another mission. And again, at the end of that mission, it says, you know, replay it, swap over. I think you can probably bring in some of the other models if you want to. Um, what does it say? You have now completed the second mission, learning the impact of different orders and how they affect shooting. This is a key concept of Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. So make sure you are familiar with these rules before proceeding. As before, you can replay this mission, perhaps swap, swapping sides to try different operatives, setting them up with the or, with a, with an order of your choice and performing the actions as you wish, rather than specifying the tutorial above. It's quite specific to make sure that you learn the concept of cover. This scenario is quite specific in in what you do, so you it's quite prescribed, and so you don't want to deviate too much until you've done it once, and then you can start mixing and matching it again. Um, so, 
once you've lured with that, you can move on to melee. So the next one is called melee ambush. And again, we have a map and it shows you how to do it. And in this in this this scenario, it specifically says that models can't shoot one another, presumably because that would defeat the point of trying to learn how to do melee combat. So melee combat, obviously, is slugging it out with hand-to-hand uh, -hand weapons. And that is all explained in here. And then that is that. that. If you go through all of those, maybe two or three times each, you have learned how to play Kill Team. And it's a really, really good way of introducing the Kill Team game. What happens next? Well, you'll need to refer to this. So the core rules, as well as having kind of a bit more detail on, on, about some of the aspects of the game and, and sort of edge case scenarios, that kind of thing, um, it, this will give you at the back, it will give you different missions you can play uh, to uh, play your game. And, and they're more advanced than that. So they have specific, you know, they, they go over a number of turns and they have specific objectives and specific ways to set up your models. And there's a specific way to play um, called narrative play where you're, you're, you play a series of games with your with your kill team and uh, they become notorious or they gain they, they gain various feats. They can get extra supplies. They can they, they have a base that they can modify. So you can build this whole story about the story up of the exploits of your kill team, which is really nice. All of that's explained in here, and then all the all the battle layouts and everything you need um, to play and, 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 and kind of run those kind of games are in here. Um, and that is kind of it. I will say that this will this will keep you occupied for quite a while, but the terrain that you get in the box isn't going to be enough to play full kill team games. Kill team generally most skirmish games, but kill team is, is also true. If you the more terrain you have, the better it is. I guess there does come a point where too much it comes too much, but it's an awful lot. Um, and you don't get that much in this box. So you're going to need to be looking at alternative options for terrain some way down the line. So you're, your purchasing isn't going to stop here. You've got enough to play with the models that you need, more or less. Um, though you can recruit new fighters. So you may want to end up uh, recruiting new warriors. So you might want to go off and buy a box. If you're, if you're playing the auction, you might want to go and buy a box of the other orcs that I talked about at the beginning of the video to supplement it. Um, but you don't have to. But if you if you want to if you want to recruit new fighters or want to change change the balance, you know, maybe have more hand to hand warriors or more heavy weapons, and kind of thing, um, then you can do that. And it's all explained in here. But you will need more models. This is always the start sets are always a jumping off point for spending more money. Um, but you definitely will to get the most out of this. Need more terrain. And it could be anything. You can make it out of cardboard boxes to start off with if you want to. This you games workshop do some lovely lovely terrain. It's not that cheap. There's a company called TT Combat, beautiful MDF wood scenery, and it slots together really easy. It's a little bit trickier to paint, uh, I find, um, but um, it's really quick to put together and looks great, even unpainted. It looks, still looks pretty good. Um, so there's that, and there's loads of, loads of other options. Uh, Mantic Games do a game called Dead Zone. They have some scenery options as well. Um, so you've got options, but you're probably going to, if you can get the most out of it, you are going to need some more scenery. Or you I mean you can do what I did when I was little and just play with whatever jock and pots and some margarine tubs I had lying around the house. Doesn't look that great, but you know, only 12, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, so that is the Kill Team box. I stupidly didn't bring out one of the other things that Games Workshop sent me. It's in the house over there. And because, as always, I do this just before I go pick up the kids from school. I haven't got time to go and get it and, and do the rest of this video. There is an Octarius book. So this, uh, which is separate, and I think it's about £22, something like that. Uh, and that is basically just the Octarius book that came in this core rule. So if you've already got that, or you've already, or already told you don't want it, there's nothing in there that you want. Um, but it has, um, so the the kill team has uh, kind of generic rules for, mm, there's all sorts of kill teams available um, to play, and the rules that are in this core rule book, you can play with any of those. Um, the, the, in the Octarius book, it has specific missions for the uh, soldiers that were in the Octarius box, which is the soldiers that are in this box, so the, the Orcs and the Veteran Guardsmen. It has specific scenarios for that. I have to say, I don't particularly think you need it. Just go, uh, you can you can have hours of fun with just the core rules. And pick up your I don't know how long they're going to be around for. You never quite know with GW, but I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it adds a huge amount uh, necessarily. It just gives you more options. So you're, you know, if, if you're getting tired of the game, then go and get it. Don't go and get it now. There's no point if you're just starting out. There's no point in getting it. Play play with just this basic set, uh, with 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 the with the with the missions in here and the margarine tubs. See whether you like it. That's that's what I would do. Um, Octarius is probably going to be around for a while, so you've got time to go and get it if you want to. Games Workshop have a rolling schedule for Kill Team releases, so we are, I think uh, it might be that long, and we'll be just probably getting some news of a new 
uh, kill zone, as they call them. So this one was the Octarius, and the other one was Chowneth, which I don't have. Um, the Chowneth doesn't have its own starter box. I assume it's not going to get one, but I don't know. Um, but you, uh, you know, there's going to be another one along. So games which are supporting this product, there's going to be always going to be new models to play. I don't know how great it is as a beginner game to really get into, but maybe if you start with the recruit edition and slowly build it up, I think it it, it could be good. Um, we're going to do a little comparison video with uh, Mantic's um, Dead Zone, which we haven't actually played yet, so I can't comment on at all on, 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 on how it plays. But we will be doing that to compare for beginners and that kind of thing, which is the best to get into. This is really simple at its core. Kill Team is really simple at its core. But um, Games Workshop have loaded the, um, loaded the fighters with... Um, these with all sorts of extra special rules and that can become a bit of a headache now i have to say i think it's more of a problem for old fogies like me i think young, because that young me would have loved it and would have remembered it or kept it all in their head and known exactly what was going on old me can't cope with it so maybe for younger players it's fine i can't really comment this is a long time ago since i've been a younger player but it can get a little complicated complicated and convoluted um and so I hesitate to say, yes, brilliant, go out and buy it, you, you'll, you'll love it. Um, I think this is a really great set. For 65 quid, the models are a bargain. You can use those in Warhammer 40,000 if you want to. Um, I think it's lovely. It looks amazing on the pay, on the table. Um, and you can, with the Recruit Edition rules, it's a much better gentle break-in than the original Octarius box. You can learn the rules gradually, build in the special rules as, as, and, as and when you want. So I do think it is, if you want to get into Kill Team, it's a really good starting off point. Um, I wonder whether if it is for a younger player whether it's a little bit will get a little bit too complicated but like I say they could probably cope with it they've got the time I don't think I like it they've got the time to sit and sit and spend hours pouring over it so um, you know probably I'm worrying over nothing but that's my thoughts on the Kill Team uh, starter set box let me know what you think um, do like and subscribe we try and do um, as many of these kind of parenting ish guides uh, to stuff where we can and uh, we've got loads of other board game content coming out we've got a whole big plans for 2022 so if you if you've just joined the channel then do please uh, ring that bell and and like and subscribe and comment on how wonderfully handsome i am and all that kind of stuff and uh, we'll see you soon somewhere on the age of sigma